Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pom-pom ice cream sweater jumper and all you need is a sweater jumper, some wool in nice pastel colours, a pom-pom maker, some scissors and some Happy Fabric Transfer Heat Vinyl. I've got a selection of colours here and a pen. So to get started you want to wrap one half of the pom-pom maker in your white wool until that is full and completed, like so. And then on the other side you want to wrap the white and a mixture of your colours so that you kind of get a speckled finish. If you wrap a selection of colours with the white like so, then you'll get a marbled effect when you cut it open. Once the pom-pom maker is full, then close it and cut through the middle. You need sharp scissors for this, this is why I kept changing my scissors. <laughs> to secure your pom-pom, cut a bit of wool and tie it around the middle and make sure you pull it really tight and then double knot it. Then you can continue to make those in the same process with your other colours, they look so cute. So, to make them nice and tight, you're going to trim them. I trim them about a centimetre all the way around. The bigger scissors actually worked a lot better for this. Now, moving on to your sweater, make sure it's nice and flat and measure so you get the centre point and just mark that with a pen. Then fold a piece of paper in half, place it up to a pom-pom and about half the width of the pom-pom, you want to make a little cone shape and just cut that out. On the matte side of the vinyl, you want to trace around your little cone with a pen and then cut them out. You need three of these. Then on your selection of different coloured vinyls, you want to cut about 2mm off the edge and then cut again into tiny little sprinkle shapes. Using a Cricut Easy Press or an iron, you want to iron the fabric so you can get any moisture out of it. Arrange your pieces of vinyl where you want them and then press them on. The vinyl shiny side up should be the side that you see and then you need to peel off the protective casing. This is why you have to do it in stages so then next up would be the brown little thin bits to make the cone and you have to do this in layers. So once you're ready you can stitch on the pom-poms, I've doubled the thread, put a knot in the back and then it takes about 3 or 4 stitches just to secure in place. And there you have it, there is the finished jumper, it's so easy to make, I absolutely love how these pom-poms look, they're super cute and I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time, thanks for watching.